Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I have a huge stack of seeds here that I just ordered. Most of them are from Baker Creek and I thought it would be fun to do a little seed haul because as I'm sure fellow gardeners will agree, seed shopping is probably one of the most fun parts of gardening. Most of these seeds are actually for next year's garden in 2022, but I just wanted to go ahead and place an order now because the last two years there were a lot of seed shortages and there were certain varieties that I wanted to make sure that I ordered so that they wouldn't run out in the spring when it's time to plant those seeds and I just want to make sure I have everything all set. There are a couple things that we can plant now because it's now mid-July and this is a great time to start sowing things for fall but the majority of these are actually for next year's garden. Okay so first we are going to start with a section of peppers and it's too late to grow these this year but these are all for next year and I got a pretty good selection of peppers. I got five different kinds I don't know what it is, but I just really love growing peppers. As long as we don't have a late frost like we have had for the last two years. And I make sure that I put our plants out a little bit later next year. Peppers do really well for us in this area and we don't really have a lot of pests that bother it. So I thought it would be fun to try some new varieties. The first one here is called the Corbachi pepper. And this is a sweet pepper that's supposed to have a really good flavor. You can see it has all of these really cool twirly shapes. I wanted to get a sweet pepper that's a little bit smaller because although bell peppers are really great to have and they're really good for freezing, they take a long time before they're ready to harvest so I always like to try and grow smaller varieties of peppers in addition to bigger ones. So like this year I grew shishito peppers because those were like one of the first things to harvest even though peppers usually you have to wait till later in the summer to harvest. So yeah, I thought that would be a good sweet pepper addition to try. Next I got a paprika pepper. This is a seasoning pepper. You would dehydrate it and turn it into paprika. I thought this one was cool because I was reading the reviews and people said that it has like a spicy paprika flavor, which I thought would be cool because usually when we buy paprika as a spice, it's a sweet paprika or smoked one. So I thought it would be really fun to have this one just to have that spicy bit of an edge. And I thought it would be perfect to use in our chili powder or taco seasoning because that's mostly what we use a lot of paprika in since we have tacos a lot here. Next I have an Anaheim pepper. This is like kind of like a mild medium hot pepper and I wanted to grow these because I think they would be good for roasting and turning into some sort of like chili sauce. I saw a chef do that on YouTube and I wanted to try that. So yeah, I thought that would be fun. Next we have this pepper. I'm not gonna try and pro pronounce this name but it's also called the Spanish Mammoth pepper on the Baker Creek website as well and this is supposed to be like a bell pepper but really big. I am really happy with the sweet larger peppers we are currently growing which are the Edgevarsky ones but I have some home saved seeds for those that I can continue using for next year so I wanted to get a new variety to try out. Next we have the banana pepper. Erin really likes banana peppers especially pickled so I wanted to get these. We always end up buying starts for banana peppers but since we buy it every year, I figured I might as well just get the seed and start the plants myself. Next we have tot soy. This is something that I will either start or sow very soon in the garden because this is supposed to be a really cold hardy green. So I want to have it for our fall garden and even going into the winter maybe. Our winters don't get super cold. We're in zone 7a here so I really want to experiment and see how long into the winter we can be growing leafy greens and this is supposed to be one of the best ones for like a winter garden. And I believe the flavor is supposed to be similar to bok choy and I would love if that's how it tastes because I love bok choy and so far I haven't really been able to get a good bok choy harvest so maybe this variety will be easier to grow. Next I have a couple of onion seeds. I'm not sure why this seed packet looks like this. It's completely different from the normal Baker Creek branding. Um, so honestly I don't even remember what this one looks like but I'll put a picture up on the screen right here. I wanted to get a couple of new packets of onion seeds because onion seeds tend to lose their germination pretty quickly and this year was actually our first time growing onions from seed and they seem to be doing really well so I definitely want to do it again and I think it's one of the most rewarding things to grow because we use onions in everything so it's kind of nice to just grow something that's a staple for us. And for us in kind of like central Virginia we need to grow intermediate day onions so 
both of these are intermediate day onions. If you're starting onion seeds the first time and you don't know all about that, just do some research because it does matter what your latitude is. Otherwise, your onions might not bulb up the way that they're supposed to if you're not growing the right type of onion for your location. Next, I have a flower. This is called safflower. And I believe this is supposed to be like a pretty short plant, but it's supposed to be very spiky as well. And people use this as a natural fencing. And since we sometimes have issues with rabbits, I thought this would be nice to pop in and maybe deter some of those rabbits. And maybe this will even help with deer, I don't know. But I thought it would just be fun to grow. You can also use the petals kind of like a saffron substitute. I bought one pack of tomato seeds. This one is supposed to be really good for sun-dried tomatoes, so I want to grow these to dehydrate because they're supposed to be very dry and meaty. And I really liked that this one was a determinate plant because most tomato plants, I feel, are indeterminates and they get so hard to stake. And this year I grow determinate tomatoes for the first time and I really like how they stay shorter and bushier, so I was excited to find a determinate tomato variety that would be good for preserving. This packet was actually a free one. Every time you order from Baker Creek, they give you a free packet of seeds. Um, so this is just like a short little stubby carrot. So that'll be fun because we're just about at the point where we can sow new seeds for the fall for carrots. So we'll try these out. This is one of the things I am most excited to grow, I think for next year, artichokes. I've seen Laura from Garden Answer grow a ton of artichokes and she totally inspired me. They just look like such a fun plant. The flowers are really beautiful. The actual plant is pretty too. So I am going to try and start a lot of these next year. And in addition to popping them in our garden, I also maybe want to put some in our front garden as well because I think they would just be a really fun plant to look at. I also like that these ones are kind of spiky. so. They are a plant that the deer won't eat for us, hopefully. So I can place them in the back of our garden where the deer usually get to, and hopefully they won't get eaten back there. This is a kakuzi gourd. If you watched our July garden tour, I talked a lot about how we had a really bad year this year with vine borers, so all of our squash have died and we didn't really get anything from them. And that was kind of sad and disappointing. And you can eat this one kind of like you would zucchini. think that this will do much better for us here. We do grow other gourds that do really well for us. And these get to massive lengths and sizes, so it will be a lot of food if we can get this to produce. And I think this would be a good one for us to grow on our cattle panel trellises because it does get very large. So this was one of the ones I definitely wanted to get and one of the ones that actually made me place this order to make sure that I got. The next one is soybeans. This is another one that I've thought about growing. I just think it's kind of interesting. I don't expect that we're gonna get a ton, but it's just one of those things that I think would be really fun to grow, so I wanted to try that out. Next we have this really beautiful poppy. It is so fluffy, it kind of looks like a peony, and I think this would be really fun to just scatter around in our flower garden. This is another one that the deer hopefully will not eat because I think they're supposed to be poisonous or something and then either use the pods for floral arrangements or if they get large enough, save them and harvest the poppy seeds for bread baking. So that's it for the Baker Creek seeds. Um, but the other day we did go into a Whole Foods and they had the Southern Exposure Seed Exchange seed packets and I couldn't help myself and I bought a couple so I thought I would just throw those in here as well. The first one is a cucumber. This is like an Asian cucumber that's longer. I'll pop a picture up here because I actually don't think this is the right picture. I think it's one of these back ones on this packet that you can't really see. And these are also supposed to get really long. And one of our favorite ways to eat cucumbers is to make smashed cucumbers. I think I've had these before and they don't really have a lot of seeds in them, so they're really good for that recipe. And then the last seed packet is a mammoth sunflower collection. And just like the name suggests, it is a very large sunflower and you should be able to harvest some sunflower seeds from it if you harvest it at the right time. I thought this would be good to grow if we can harvest those heads, save them for our chickens, and feed them to our chickens in the winter. 
Ever since getting our chickens, I feel like I'm starting to dedicate so much of our garden space to them because I just think it's part of sustainability to be able to grow food not only for us but for our animals and I just think that this would be an easy one to try out to feed them some food. These two we actually already planted a couple of seeds because we still have time for these in the garden. It says on this packet that these cucumbers will be ready to harvest in 61 days and we still have like maybe 90 days in our growing season. And these ones take 85 days so this might be pushing it a little bit but I thought I would just try it anyway. So that's it for today's video. Just a really quick look at this seed haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you again in the next video.